In the ancient city of Oyo, where narrow cobblestone streets led to hidden wonders, lived Kwame, a curious young boy with a heart full of dreams. He came from a humble family. His father was a farmer and his mom was a petty trader. One day, while exploring the bustling marketplace, he stumbled upon a mysterious shop tucked away in a quiet corner where nobody usually enters to find anything tangible. Inside, an old merchant named Baba Ahmed with a warm smile and a grizzled beard attended to him. My son, what brings you here? Kwame was reluctant to even respond and turned to leave. Sorry, Baba, I think I missed my way. He beckoned on him to come in. Come in, my boy. You see, destiny has led you here. He playfully presented Kwame with a unique wooden mask. This magical mask, the merchant whispered, has the power to transform you into any animal you desire. But be warned, young one, with great power comes great responsibility. Make sure to return it in three days to me. I'll be waiting. As Kwame turned to leave, he added, and in case you decide not to return it, the mask will disappear from wherever you hide it and come to me. But I trust you will make the right decision. Run along now. He hurriedly exited the market and headed towards a nearby bush. Intrigued, Kwame hesitated before donning the mask. To his amazement, he felt a surge of energy and in an instant, he transformed into a mischievous monkey. As a monkey, Kwame swung through the trees, delighting in his newfound agility. He encountered other animals, each imparting valuable lessons about acceptance and self-discovery. While eating a banana on top of one of the trees, he spotted two tortoises walking down a bush path and swung down to join them. The wise old tortoise spoke to the younger one. My friend, I've always told you that true strength lies in knowing and accepting yourself. The forest will try to force many things on you, but you must remain content with yourself and what the maker has endowed you with. Transforming into an owl, Kwame soared through the night sky. He met Effa, a wise owl on an ancient baobab tree. To embrace your true self, she said to a younger owl standing by, is to appreciate the unique melody of your wings. When it is time to soar, my friend, soar with grace. Kwame flew back to his village as it had gotten dark. Kwame's parents, noticing the changes in their son, expressed concern. Kwame, you seem so excited today. What happened? And why are you coming back home in the dark? In a heartfelt conversation, Kwame shared his magical experiences and the profound lessons learned from the different creatures he had become. I'm learning to accept myself, to appreciate the beauty in being different, he told them, with tears of understanding in his eyes. His mother thought he was just making up stories like children normally do once in a while when playing with each other. Go to sleep, my child. The next day was unforgettable for Kwame. He faced challenges while transformed into a vulnerable creature. As a housefly, he almost got smashed by an elderly man. His only luck was that the man was too slow to climb down on it as a rat. 
Kwame ran for almost three hours trying to escape the attack of cats in almost every home in his vicinity. Just when he ran up a tree and the cats couldn't follow quickly, he turned and saw a hawk towering down on him with the glimmering sunlight in the background. It was glorious to behold. But suddenly, Kwame remembered he was about to become lunch to the hawk. With his heart beating faster than his feet could run, he slid off the branch just in time to avoid the clutch of the hawk's claws. And as he fell through the air, just before hitting the ground, he landed on all fours. The confused hawk instantly lost its appetite and took to the skies. While in the forest, he encountered a wounded gazelle and in a poignant moment, realized the strength in vulnerability and the beauty of compassion. He transformed into a fellow gazelle and helped the wounded gazelle to a good hiding spot to avoid being killed by hunters or other wild animals. However, the mask tempted Kwame with its most powerful weapon, the taste for true power, to transform into a majestic lion, seeking admiration and power. Wrestling with this temptation, Kwame assured himself a time would come for that. As he walked through the jungle, he came upon three armed robbers trying to rob a merchant that was passing through the village. They had already taken his bag from him and were beating him up. Without a thought, Kwame transformed into a lion and rushed towards them with a mighty roar that shook the entire forest. One of the thieves fell to the ground and passed out in shock. The other two gave the best sprints of their lives running from the beast. The lion turned to the battered merchant on the ground, who was equally terrified and looked intently at him, then nodded at him. The lion stood on a hill and roared heavily into the jungle. At that instant, every animal around scurried for cover. There hasn't been a lion in the jungles of Oyo for a long time. That evening, Kwame realized that being powerful had its downside. He knew what it felt like to rule people in terror and have them fear you instead of respect you. This made him realize how lonely and vulnerable power can be. He then transformed into himself and went back home. The following day, misunderstanding arose in the village. A thief had broken into the treasury of the king and made away with all the gold and the king's crown. It was clear that a war was imminent because by divination, the king knew the thief was sent by the king from the neighboring kingdom. Kwame, after hearing the news, immediately ran into a hidden place and put on his mask, transforming into an eagle. He flew very high and scanned through the area to get the thief's location as he was told he escaped in a chariot. He spotted a fast riding chariot racing on the far side of the village. Then he swooped in to confirm his discovery. He noticed the stranger with piles of treasures on his chariot. Then he flew to a sharp turn that was just ahead of the chariot's path and transformed into a lion. In a few seconds, the horses came face to face with the huge lion racing towards them. His powerful roar sent the horses into a frenzy, throwing the rider off the cart and in utter confusion, he took to his heels and headed for the nearby bushes. But the lion was way faster than him. In a few leaps, it landed in front of the thief and roared again. He meant to run again, but all his efforts were futile. Finally, he fell to the ground and covered his head in fear and trembling. The lion went up to him and placed his powerful paw on his back, a gesture to make him stay still. 
The thief couldn't take it anymore. His bowels failed him and he let out a poop on himself. Not long after, the king's chariot approached the scene. The king stepped forward and approached the beast. He knew a natural lion would have devoured the thief and chaos would have ensued. But this was different. The king nodded to the lion and took its leg off the thief. The king's men captured him and took him back to the palace along with his loot. Then the king turned walked closer to the lion that stood quietly and said, Walk with me. I know who you are. Kwame, son of Yura. Baba Ahmed told me to whom he had handed the mask. I have devised a plan with him to check out an eligible young man who can be trusted with the power to join the ruling ranks of our kingdom at their ripe age. By magic and consultations, he has picked out a few of our youths for this test. At this point, Kwame transformed back into his original form and continued walking with the king along the bush path. Today is your third day of having the mask in your possession. I'm aware that tomorrow you are to return it to Baba Ahmed. So far you have used the power for the right course. When the time comes, you will be invited to the palace to serve your true purpose. They spoke at length some more and Kwame shared his experiences and the lessons he had learned with the king. But he was instructed to keep the secret from everyone, including his parents. In the morning, Kwame returned the mask to the old merchant, expressing his gratitude. Kwame discovered the true magic of the mask. The merchant revealed, the mask merely reflects the magic within your heart. The magic of acceptance, uniqueness, and a call to true responsibility. Over the next few weeks, the magical mask will find a new owner, passing on the cycle of self-discovery and a true test of responsibility and service to the kingdom. Three days later, Baba Ahmed visited the king with some disturbing news. My king, after a long commune with the deities yesterday, in my vision, I saw that the next boy to receive the mask, his three days will be filled with terror. I think the gods want to test us. The king smiled. Baba Ahmed, let that be my problem to worry about as the king. Please carry on with the tests as they come. Baba Ahmed left the palace disturbed but the king's words must be obeyed. In a few days, the next test will come to his shop and the fate of the kingdom shall be in the balance.